jerkbait fishing has been a staple in my fishing for a number of years now. The ability to both cover water to catch aggressive fish and also slow down to catch lethargic fish makes suspending jerkbaits invaluable. Once I got my hands on a BFS setup, I picked up some smaller jerkbaits to try out in hopes that they would be just as effective but even more fun and catch even more fish. So let's take a look at the first jerkbait on my list. The Duo Realis Rizonte 63 is the first jerkbait that I tried out. Um, this is a very small jerkbait coming in at 63 millimeters or about 2.5 inches. It weighs 3 sixteenths of an ounce or on my scale about 4.5 grams. It has an internal magnetic weight transfer system that does make a serious difference when casting. It comes stock with size 10 trebles and is advertised as a suspending bait, but I would consider it more of a medium float. This bait is stunning to look at. It throws a lot of light on the action and has a very enticing action when cranked. I personally had a hard time getting a consistent predictable action out of it using a traditional twitching cadence, which is somewhat understandable because of the size of this bait. It is far more effective being cranked with short pauses in between. I would consider this bait more effective in small shallow ponds or creeks, and covering water is not so much a priority. I had a very hard time getting any sort of depth out of the bait. It really liked to run in the one to two foot range. Up next, I tried out the Lucky Craft Pointer 65. Now unfortunately, as I will show on the screen right now, I was only able to fish with this bait for a couple casts before a snapping turtle decided that it was going to take it for lunch and broke off my line. But in those first couple casts before that happened, I was able to inspect the action and castability and can conclude that for its size and not having a weight transfer system, it casts very well on BFS gear. Coming in at about 65 millimeters or 2.5 inches and 1 sixth of an ounce, it comes fitted with size 8 trebles. The action is pretty well identical to its older brother, the Pointer 78, so the underwater footage you see here and the inspection footage you see here is of the Pointer 78, a bait that I have been using for years now and it is one of my favorites of more compact full-size baits. The action is very consistent and has a walk the dog like action underwater with a very pronounced body roll as the bait stabilizes after each twitch. The bait sits very horizontal just like the Pointer 78. Unlike most jerk baits that normally sit nose down, the most impressive thing to me is that for the size, the bait got very respectable depth. Even though it is a slow float and not a true suspend, I got about four to five feet out of the little 65 millimeter bait, which is amazing. Um, and I will definitely be getting another one of these to keep trying to fish and keep exploring. Now coming up next is the Megabass X70 BFS, and this is the jerkbait I was probably most excited to try out of these small BFS jerkbaits. As you can see, this bait is just gorgeous. It has such a natural and unintimidating presence in the water, and I was stoked to just give it a shot. I was a little disappointed of the castability of this bait. That said, it is understandable why it is tougher to cast. It comes in at 4.5 grams and is fitted with size 10 hooks. So just looking at the stats, it should cast as well as the Rosante 63, but if you remember, the Rosante 63 has a magnetic braking system that makes a huge difference on the cast. This bait does have a, um, a weight transfer system, but as you can see in the footage here, it is very difficult to engage and is not that much weight being transferred to the back. So I had a very hard time casting this thing on my one power um, BFS rod. Um, it's also a very, it's a little bit longer than the 63 and much thinner. So I feel like it caught the wind. Um, it wasn't quite as aerodynamic. Now that could definitely be overcome if you have a higher end BFS reel or use even lighter line or even a lighter powered rod, but it's something that I wanted to mention because that was my experience. Um, of all the baits in the video, this one definitely casts the worst. Um, about the action of the X70, it is a very muted kind of wobble on a crank, which actually looks very good, um, but the way I fish it is a twitch. So on the twitch, it is just kind of like a traditional jerk bait, just a side to side with a little bit of body flash, which is understandable as the body is a little bit taller and very thin. So it does throw a lot of light, um, but to me, this was a very natural presentation, and I'll definitely be using this when the water is either really cold or really hot. Um, something else to mention, it is a slow sinking bait, 
which I love because with all these small baits, something that I noticed is you don't get a lot of depth out of them. So to have a very small jerk bait that I can um, count down and sink down into deeper waters, that is very effective and very valuable to have for such a, such a small presentation. All right, now we have arrived at my personal favorite, the Mega Bass X80 Junior. Not to be confused with its older brother, the X80 Trick Darter. This is just a BFS size of that same bait. It is just over two and a half inches long and weighs a quarter of an ounce or five and a half grams on my scale. The X80 comes stock with size eight trebles and is a true suspend out of the package. Maybe a slight slow float depending on your water temperatures. This is definitely my favorite because to me, it has the total package for a BFS jerkbait. It is a very compact size where it's still two and a half inches, but with that two and a half inches, it casts the best out of all of them. It has the best suspending properties out of all of them. And the action is very predictable and easy to get it to work. I would compare it to the Pointer 65 or the 78, but a slight bit more erratic. And I feel like that erratic action comes from the slight cupping on the lip. It's got a side-to-side -side walking with a body roll as it slows down, which just really gives it that extra little bit of realism as you're not moving it. It kind of wobbles side-to-side. -side. It has a very effective weight transfer system that is different than the X70, which is just a single ball bearing that rolls to the back. This bait has one, if you're familiar with the Vision 110 series, it's got the two little ball bearings inside that roll to the back and then sit up in the front of the bait when you start cranking it. It is so easy to cast on BFS gear. You do not have to worry about your braking at all. You can fully send it. Because of the weight transfer system and the weight of the bait, along with the compact size, that's what makes this bait my favorite. You get all the benefits of the ultra compact size, but you also get a little heavier weight, a very predictable action, and it's a very effective way to fish as such a small profile. And now this brings us to our final two baits, which I'm actually going to talk about together um, because they are the same bait. They are both the Mega Bass X Nanahan, but I also have the plus one version. So these are the largest jerk baits in the video, and I was considering not even putting them in the video because they are, I wouldn't really consider them BFS, but. The reason I included them is because I still cannot fish them on my traditional jerkbait rod, and they've got size 8 hooks, and I just thought I'd throw them in here because I'm personally going to be throwing them on my BFS combo, so I figured why not. So these are the largest baits coming in at 3 inches and a weight of 6.5 grams, and like I said, they have size 8 trebles. Both models have a weight transfer system just like the X80 and just like the Vision 110 series. It's got two little ball bearings inside that shift to the back as you cast it. The action is the most similar to the Vision 110. So as you can see in the footage, it's very nose down. And on the Twitch, it has that, it's hard to, exp hard to explain. I kind of describe it as like a swoopy and flashy. It's less walk, walk the dog and it's more kind of pointed down. I feel like it's less walk the dog because it's so nose down. It kind of dips up and shoots back down, dips up, shoots back down. And it just has a very finessey way about it. Um, one thing I did notice is that the plus one version did not seem to have as much action, like side to side movement as the standard version, which was odd to me because with the vision 110 and 110 plus ones, the plus ones have a much wider side to side walk the dog action underwater. So I'm not really sure why that is. Um, something also to keep in mind about these baits, they are designed as a slow float. So don't expect them to suspend and they do not suspend. They are a slow float, but at least they're not advertised as a suspend bait and then float out of the package, which a lot of other baits do. Um, either way, these are very effective and probably will be one of my go-tos when I'm trying to fish bigger water or catch more aggressive fish. Um, but I still want to use my BFS setup because it does kind of creep into that compact full-size jerk bait as opposed to a true BFS jerk bait. Just for reference, most of the other baits today were about two and a half inches. These are three inches and they're also a wider profile. But because of that size, you do get very good casting distance, which is a nice plus when you're fishing a larger lake or trying to cover water quickly. Each bait that I tried today was honestly, I was very impressed with them. 
The only caveat I would say is that the Rosante 63 is probably not your best option if you're fishing on a lake or like a larger pond where you're trying to cover water. Um, I would say it's much more suited for either stream fishing or small pond fishing, um, but it definitely has its place. Um, between all the others, I had a very hard time deciding my favorite. I don't think you need to pick a favorite necessarily. I would say that the Pointer 65 and the X80 Junior are probably going to be my go-tos, um, kind of where I start when I'm f when I'm uh, jerkbait fishing because they have a more aggressive action and I'm probably going to get the more aggressive fish right off the bat. Um, the X70 is definitely going to be my very cold or very clear water bait where it's tougher to cast, but the benefit is how finessy it is. It's definitely the finessiest that we talked about today. The X Nanahans, honestly, they're pretty, the standard one is pretty interchangeable with the 65, the Pointer 65, and the X80. Um, I would say the reason I'll keep this in my arsenal is that they do come with the plus one, and they also come with a plus two variant. So if I'm trying to target deeper water, this will be an awesome tool. I hope this video helped you guys kind of understand the differences between these tiny little jerk baits. Um, I know that I was very curious about them, and they are very different. Um, if you have any other questions, please drop a comment down below. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's confirmed. X-Man hand catches them. Thanks for watching, guys.